I went to Sweden for three months, stayed with an old girlfriend, came back to, to New York, slept in friends' apartments, met a French girl named Isabel, and got an apartment with her. I got another job showing movies in a small theater in the back of a coffee shop on Ludlow Street. On the uh, fourth week of showing movies, I carried a bucket of glue and 150 posters off the subway from Brooklyn. I planned to cover a massive amount of wall space to beef up the crowds of 10 people. After I got three flyers onto a telephone pole, an unmarked car pulled up and two undercover cops jumped out, flashing their badges. Why did you try to walk away, one of them asked. How was I supposed to know you're cops? You're not in uniform. Put the bucket down. Do you have any drugs on you? Any needles in your pockets? Any weapons? Check for yourself. The posters I was putting up were for the movie Barbarella. The cop asked if Pamela Sue Anderson was in it. <laughs> no, that's barbed wire. Why are your cops so stupid? Why don't you bust drug dealers and real criminals, I asked. I used to be in narcotics, the sidekick replied. What happened? Did you get demoted? Get in the car, the other cop said. They handcuffed me, took the posters, left the bucket and drove me to, uh, to the ninth precinct, checking my arrest record on their portable computers. At, at the station, they put me in a holding cell while another guy got fingerprinted for shoplifting a bottle of Tylenol. <laughs> they put the guy in the cell with me. What did they get you for, he asked. <laughs> Putting up posters, I replied. <laughs> Putting up posters? Are you kidding? They don't have anything better to do than arrest people for putting up posters? <laughs> Are you guys stupid? Do they give you guns for that? Hey, you, shut up. I'm trying to conduct an interview, the cop replied. I don't have to shut up. What are you, auxiliary cops? They don't give you guns, do they? Jeez, what a bunch of fuck-ups. You know, they pay the sanitation workers more than they pay you guys. I'm gonna laugh. You want me to tape your mouth shut, asshole? The head cop squealed. My cellmate said to me, you ought to complain to the mayor. They can't bust you for putting up posters. Before I, I could point out that this was probably the mayor's idea, the cops barked. Hey, you want to know something, asshole? We were appointed by the mayor. We're graffiti police. If you don't like it, fuck off. <laughs> graffiti police, bunch of chumps, grumbled the shoplifter as uniformed cops escorted him out. On the wall outside the cell was a height chart, and five feet was scrawled, height of the guy that beat the shit out of Eddie Murphy here. <laughs> the cops took three mug shots. I looked a lot better in the Polaroids than I did in the Christmas photos my mother had just taken. While waiting in the cell, I, I wrote my name on the wall. Watch it, we'll arrest you for graffiti again. One of the cops said, laughing. Two hours later, I got fingerprinted and was presented with a subpoena to appear in court in a month. After that, they let me go. I called Rachel from a payphone. Yeah? Hey, Rachel, I just got arrested. What do you want from me? She replied. I want to know when, they, when you got busted for putting up posters. When you went to court, what did they do to you? Well, first, don't get arrested, she replied. I just got arrested, that's why I'm calling you. I just spent two hours in a cell. Uh, they just postponed my case and said they let me know when they wanted me to come back. That's the last I ever heard from them. Oh good. What are you going to do now? Put up more posters. <laughs> yeah, don't do it, you'll end up in jail. I went back to where the cops arrested me on 13th and A, found a bucket of glue, and went back to work. I put up another... 150 before I took the train back to Brooklyn.